I'm Dr. Venkatesh Rajkumar, consultant nephrologist at Apollo Hospital, Chennai. So today, uh, let's discuss a little bit about an entity which has become very common nowadays, kidney failure. Kidney failure or uh, advanced kidney failure is a condition where both the kidneys have failed completely beyond repair that patients need either dialysis or a new kidney, kidney transplantation. Broadly, this can be divided into two types, acute kidney failure and a chronic renal failure or kidney failure. Acute kidney failure is a situation where the kidneys have failed over a period of uh, I would say weeks to days to weeks. In other words, they have failed recently. They were normal to start with. In the uh, last few days to few weeks, there is a problem which has happened in the kidney and consequently the kidneys have failed. That is acute kidney failure. As against chronic kidney failure, wherein the kidneys have failed slowly over a period of months to years. So as a nephrologist, whenever I am seeing a patient with an advanced kidney disease or an advanced kidney failure, the first thing in my mind will be to find out if it is a case of an acute kidney failure or a chronic kidney failure. Because the treatment is going to be uh, very different. If it is a case of an acute kidney failure, there is every chance we can try to reverse it so that patients need not have to go on dialysis, patients need not have to undergo this kidney transplantation. On the other hand, patients with this chronic kidney disease, which typically happens in patients with long-term uh, lifestyle diseases like diabetes and hypertension, will try to delay the progression of kidney disease as long as possible. But once the patients have reached a stage wherein it is difficult to sustain life without dialysis, we ask them to go on dialysis or better treatment is to undergo a kidney transplantation. Wherein, before that, as a bit about dialysis, dialysis is a treatment option wherein blood is taken out from the patient's body given it through a machine, purified through a filter and the purified uh, blood is given back to the patient's body. It takes typically between 4 to 5 hours time. It is done typically between 2 to 3 times a week and most of the time in patients with chronic kidney failure, it is, it is needed for a long period of time, uh, most likely uh, throughout the life. On the other hand, kidney transplantation is a way to even reverse kidney failure, I would say, wherein a kidney from a healthy voluntary living donor or a cadaver donor, which means individual who has sustained a brain death, we harvest the organs from them after getting the consent and permission from the near and dear ones. And after going through the waiting list, government waiting list, it is given to patients who are on the waiting list with advanced kidney failure on dialysis. So you get organs through one of these two routes and by, by doing a kidney transplantation, kidney failure can be reversed. Your kidney functions become normal and the patients can come out of dialysis and it is a highly successful procedure nowadays. I would say the immediate success rate should be close to anywhere between 95 or 98 percent and the long-term success rates are also very very good. So whenever we talk about kidney failure the first question in the patient's mind will be where well, what will happen to my previous kidneys are you going to take them out and things. That is not the situation. The previous kidneys or native kidneys will be staying where they are and the new kidneys typically put in the lower part of the abdomen in the right iliac fossa somewhere in the lower part of the abdomen and it is a uh, it is the best way to re treat renal failure on the other hand acute kidney failure is a situation which we can or we will or we should try to reverse it so that patients need not have to be on dialysis for a long period of time by doing the necessary test including a test called a kidney biopsy if needed we can find out what is the exact reason for acute kidney failure so that we can try to do something to reverse it so again as a nephrologist Whenever I am seeing a patient with an advanced renal failure, the first question I will try to answer myself will be if it is a case of an acute renal failure or it is a case of a chronic renal failure. The second question, if it is going to be an acute renal failure, what is the reason and how can I try to reverse it? So not all renal failures, not all kidney failures need dialysis, not all kidney failures need transplantation. There is a good chunk of patients with acute kidney failure where you can reverse the kidney failure and the patients can come out of dialysis. Thank you.